Hi, this is Ellen from the Chili Dog. We all make mistakes in our knitting from time to time, but there's no reason to get upset about it. Knit happens. Of course, mistakes are easiest to correct when you catch them early. Today, I'm going to teach you how to tink or unknit a row of stitches so you can correct errors that were made in your current row of knitting. This is a skill that every knitter should be familiar with. Let's get started. For demonstration purposes, I've stitched up a swatch with some basic four by four ribbing. That means there are four knit stitches followed by four purls, four knits, four purls, four knits, four purls. But oops, it looks like I made a mistake in the row I'm knitting. My knits and my purls don't all line up like they should. Instead of ripping out the entire swatch and starting over, I'm just going to tink or unknit back to the beginning of the problem. First, let's figure out how far we need to tink. It looks like my row started okay, but then I got a couple of extra knit stitches in here and then my ribbing pattern got offset. So I need to tink or unknit all the way back to here where the problem started. It can be really helpful to hook a locking stitch marker around your needle back to the point where you can stop tinking and start knitting again. And this is just a visual reminder for you of where to stop tinking. So now, stitch by stitch, let's work back to this marker. I want to remove the stitch that I just made and return the stitch that's below it to my left needle. Think of each of these lower stitches as a little round target and your left needle is the arrow. You always want to insert your left needle straight through the center of that target and hit the bullseye. Once you've transferred the stitch over to your left needle, you can slip it off the right needle, pull on your working yarn to remove that stitch. So let's do it one more time. There's the lower stitch. I want to shoot my arrow straight through the center, drop it off my right needle, and then I can pull my working yarn to get rid of the stitch. Sometimes this lower stitch can be hard to see. So to open things up, all you have to do is pinch your knitting and then use your working yarn, pull it up, and it opens up that lower stitch so that you can see it better. And again, I'm just going to insert my arrow through the center of the target, drop off the stitch and pull the working yarn. And you'll need to slide up your stitches as you're going. For knit stitches, the working yarn naturally wants to be at the back of your work. However, when you're taking a purl stitch, you can see the working yarn naturally wants to be at the front of your work. You'll also notice that this little stitch below is very hard to see where to insert your needle. So again, just like before, with the yarn at front this time, pull the yarn up and it opens up that lower stitch so you can see your target. Insert straight through the target, hit the bullseye, drop it off, and pull your working yarn. And again, lifting up opens this lower stitch Go straight through the center, drop it off. Now I'm going to keep tinking until I reach the marker. And you can see here when it switches from purls to knits, the working yarn naturally wants to be at the back. I can use it to open up the target, 
insert my needle. And keep tinking on. When I get to a pearl, the working yarn naturally is coming out the front. Open my stitch up. Two more stitches, go straight through the center of the target and straight through the center of the target. And once I reach this marker, I can remove it. And now that everything is okay in my pattern, I can stop tinking and start knitting again. I hope you enjoyed learning how to tink or unknit a row of stitches so that correcting mistakes in your knitting isn't quite so scary. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Chili Dog, for weekly tips and tutorials. Until we stitch again, happy knitting!